welcome everyone to uh, today's video on the topic of centripetal and tangential acceleration so um, imagine uh, we have a ball and that ball is tied to a thread and uh, we are whirling that ball in a circle so uh, when we are whirling the ball in a circle uh, we are whirling it at a constant speed. So, what would uh, we say about the acceleration of the ball? So, uh, one way of thinking can be the speed of the ball is not changing. That means uh, the linear acceleration of the ball uh, has to be zero. But if we uh, see what constitutes the acceleration of the ball then we would say that uh, that acceleration is a quantity uh, which is defined as rate of change of velocity of a particle so the velocity of the particle is made up of the magnitude of the uh, of the velocity of the particle and the direction of the velocity of the particle which means that either of which uh, the magnitude of velocity or the direction of the velocity changes if either of uh, these two quantities changes we would say uh, the particle is having an acceleration so in the case when the ball is being whirled in a circle the magnitude of the velocity is not changing but the direction of the velocity is constantly changing so there has to be some acceleration so, that acceleration which is uh, changing the direction of the velocity of the ball constantly as it goes from one point to another, uh, that acceleration is called centripetal acceleration. So, let us see how we are able to find the value of centripetal acceleration. Some of you may be knowing from your junior classes, but uh, how do we come out about uh, that particular expression? and what is the meaning of that expression so uh, first of all let us imagine a situation uh, of the same ball which we are considering except that that ball is now going in x y plane now in this uh, x y plane let us draw a circle so you can guess that the radius of the circle of uh, the radius of this circle would be equal to the uh, the length of the thread uh, with which we have tried or uh, tied the ball so this is our ball let's say this point is some p and this is the radius of the circle let us say this is some value r and this is the origin so this is the point from which we have attached this ball to okay so uh, at uh, current position the position vector of the ball is making an angle theta with respect to the x axis so we would say that Uh, the angle theta with respect to the x axis so we can write the position vector of a particle so the position vector of the particle is simply its projection on x and y axis so this would come out to be some r cos theta i cap plus sin theta j cap so this is the position vector of the particle and we know that when we differentiate the position of the particle we will get the velocity vector so the velocity of the particle uh, would be differentiation of this position vector that is dr by dt which we write as velocity v so this would come out to be some r differentiation cos the of cos theta is minus sin theta i cap differentiation of sin theta is cos theta j cap and differentiation of theta itself which would be d theta by dt 
we know that uh, the rate of change of angular position of particle that is d theta by dt uh, is represented by omega it's called angular velocity so we can write the linear velocity of the particle v as r omega minus sin theta i cap plus cos theta j cap r omega uh, we can write r omega as v naught so let's say velocity vector of the particle is v naught minus sin theta i cap plus cos theta j cap so let us look at a question a particle goes in a circle of radius 5 cm the radius of the particle is 5 cm radius of the circle with an angular speed of 2 radians per second find the velocity vector of the particle when the particle is at the position shown below so uh, let us say it is given in the question that the particle is going in anti clockwise sense so the particle is going in anti clockwise sense that means that uh, the particle is going in some this direction so let us just redraw this particular figure x axis y axis and we have a point p so the particle is going in anti clockwise sense so uh, what would be the velocity vector of the particle in this particular position so we are given that the angular position of the particle is some 30 degrees so the velocity vector of the particle would be r omega that would be r 5 cm times omega 2 radians per second this would be minus sin 30 degree i cap plus cos 30 degree j cap so this is the, this was our expression for the velocity vector of the particle uh, that was uh, we look at the previous uh, page our expression for velocity vector was v not minus sin theta plus cos theta j cap so this is the expression which we have used to directly calculate the velocity of the particle when it is at this particular position so velocity is some 10 cm per second minus sin 30 i cap plus cos 30 j cap so that will be some minus i cap plus cos 30 that is square root 3 j cap divided by square root 2 so uh that is uh the expression which we have gotten for the velocity of the particle um what could be some other ways of finding the velocity of the particle uh if we are given this figure and given these values so other ways could be we, we could draw the velocity vector like we have drawn here we could uh, 
take its components like this and this and see what angles the velocity vector makes with x axis or y axis and then write the individual components so these components are these only which we have uh, calculated here so after the whole calculation this particular value comes out only okay so uh, now we will be containing our derivation from 1 that is this particular uh, expression that is the velocity vector of the particle so from this particular expression from this expression uh, we want to contain our derivation so we want to find the acceleration vector of the particle given that we have the velocity vector so we have velocity v is equal to v naught so let us substitute the value of v naught that is r omega minus sin theta i gap plus cos theta j gap so this is the velocity vector of the particle uh, to find the acceleration vector of the particle we will be differentiating the value of velocity so it get acceleration a is equal to d by dt of the velocity that is this particular expression so we will write this expression as a whole <laughs> so now let us think how we want to differentiate this particular expression this is a uh, big expression in itself uh, when we differentiated the position vector we took the uh, cos theta i cap plus sin theta j cap part of the vector differentiated it and then we differentiated the theta component uh, so uh, and we did it so now what are the new challenges in front of us so first of all when we are considering the acceleration of the particle uh, what are the possible variables in our equation? So, the possible variables are, uh, in this particular expression are all the expressions that is the angular velocity. Omega is a variable. When we are whirling the ball in a circle, then we can increase its speed. We can increase how many turns it takes per second in, it, uh, in it the circle. So that would be uh, that would be changing the angular velocity of the particle. So that is a variable. And the angular position of particle theta is a variable. Only the radius of the uh, circle in which we are whirling the ball um, would remain constant for this particular derivation. So that means that we are calculating uh, the value of uh, accelerations when we are not increasing the length of the thread uh, in way, uh, by which we are whirling the ball so that means we are talking about circular motion if we increase the length of the thread of a the ball then we would be talking about uh, spiral motion because it would go in a spiral so um, how do we differentiate this particular expression so uh, we would say that the radius of the ball or radius of the circle is constant so this would come out to be acceleration r would come outside so uh, these two expressions can be regarded, regarded as 1 and 2 so first we will differentiate 1 so d by d omega by dt of 1 So, and my uh, and the second expression as it is minus sine theta i cap plus cos theta j cap. Plus, 
the angular velocity of the particle as it is and differentiating of the second expression. So this would come out to be, let us differentiate the second expression here itself. So that would uh, be a differentiation of sine theta that is cos theta i cap minus sine theta j cap and differentiation of theta that would that we already know that is omega so uh, after differentiating we will get very uh, clear expressions of what the acceleration of a particle going in a circle is made up of and what is uh, the meaning behind uh, the idea of non-uniform circle motion what do we mean by it so d omega by data uh, dt is already we you know alpha so this is r alpha and uh, minus sine theta i cap plus cos theta j cap this is the direction in which this acceleration is relevant so this particular uh, direction of acceleration uh, we already know this is the direction of acceleration coming from velocity this direction so this is the direction of velocity plus we get r omega square r omega square and a negative sign is taken outside so this is this comes out to be cos theta i cap plus sin theta j cap so this would be the direction perpendicular to velocity direction perpendicular to velocity so what do, you, what do these two components mean so the first component which we are writing is the tangential component so it say the acceleration vector the complete acceleration of the particle going in a circle is made up of two components the first component is this one that is the direction of this particular uh, this whole component uh, so this is what we call tangential acceleration of the particle the so tangential acceleration of the particle that is r alpha into minus sin theta i cap plus cos theta j cap so this is what we call tangential acceleration why is it called tangential acceleration because it is in the direction of tangent to the circle so its value is simply r alpha and let us see how we uh, how do we show it on a circle and the next component is the centripetal component that is ac that is minus omega square r that is my cos theta i cap plus sin theta j cap so this is what we call centripetal acceleration so a particle go going in a circle will definitely have centripetal acceleration because it will have angular velocity and the radius of the circle but it may or may not have tangential acceleration because it's not necessary that we will be whirling the uh, ball which we had taken uh, in our hand with increasing speed alpha could be zero so centripetal acceleration is necessary and tangential acceleration is not necessary uh, so uh, what would be the value of centripetal acceleration the value of centripetal acceleration is simply omega square r and uh, after all these uh, expressions what naturally comes to our mind is that k 
how do we know that this particular direction that is minus sin theta cos theta j cap this is the direction of velocity and if it is direction of velocity in which direction it is so let us draw a figure and uh, try to figure out what are the meaning of this expression So this is the part of the circle let's say which we are considering the particle is going with some velocity in this direction now what is happening is that this particular direction minus sin theta i cap plus cos theta j cap this is this is in the direction of velocity only so it say uh, this is the tangential component of the acceleration vector now this is a this look uh, this is a vector itself but uh, to uh, complete uh, to show it uh, in a way that uh, is in a figure we have drawn it as a drawn it uh, in this way next we have centripetal acceleration so centripetal acceleration is in the direction of the center of the circle that is cos theta i cap sin theta j cap this is the position vector of the particle uh, so this is lower towards the center of the circle so this would be representing the centripetal acceleration ac so again centripetal acceleration can also be represented as a vector but what we know is that k the tangential acceleration vector and the centripetal acceleration vector both of these combined to give us the value of the complete acceleration of the particle so this is the net acceleration vector of the particle and it's not necessarily that it would be making an acute angle with the velocity vector it can would have make it could have been making a obtuse angle also so this is the acceleration vector of the particle this particular angle is some theta let's say this angle is some theta so uh, what is the acceleration of the particle going in a circle made up of tangential acceleration plus the centripetal acceleration so this is the net acceleration of the particle and if you want to find the what is the value of the acceleration of the particle then we would say its value would be omega square r square plus alpha r square and we have taken square root of this particular value so uh, as you can see the acceleration vector of the particle is the hypotenuse of this triangle uh, the tangential acceleration is the side and centripetal acceleration is the other side so sum of the squares of the side it gives us the hypotenuse of the uh, triangle that is the net acceleration so the net acceleration of the particle is of, of a particle going in a circle is not always omega square r uh it contains omega square r as well as the tangential component alpha r so both of these component that is omega square r that is the value of centripetal acceleration and alpha r that is the value of tangential acceleration we have taken these values and we have squared them and added them taken square root to take the value of net acceleration of a particle going in a circle so as the particle is going in a circle its speed is increasing and because of that particular uh now uh, virtue of the motion of the particle we would say this motion is called non uniform circular motion that is the particle having uh, an angular acceleration and centripetal acceleration so this is what we mean by non uniform circular motion okay next let us do some questions a particle is moving in a circular path of radius 10 cm its linear speed is given by v equal to 40 v is equal to 40 is the speed of the particle find tan theta where theta is the angle between the net acceleration and centripetal acceleration of the particle at t equal to 2 seconds so uh, 
just we saw that when a particle moves in a circle it has two it may have two kinds of acceleration that is the centripetal acceleration and uh, the uh, tangential acceleration now if a particle has only centripetal acceleration that is called uniform circular motion and the particle is also speeding up along the circle then that is called tangential acceleration so normally we would say that the acceleration of the particle uh, that is in uniform circular motion the acceleration vector of the particle is perpendicular to the velocity vector that is the story goes like this that the velocity of the particle is like this and acceleration is uh, towards the center of the circle it's always towards the center of the circle the velocity of the particle is like this then the acceleration of the particle has to be like this so if this were the question of a uniform circular motion then the answer would be a 90 degree that the angle between acceleration vector and velocity vector would be always 90 degree but here the question is asking that what is the angle between net acceleration and centripetal acceleration so the angle between net acceleration and centripetal acceleration would have been 0 degree in this case that is of uniform circular motion in case of non uniform circular motion uh, what would be the angle so we just drew the figure uh, that if a particle is having centripetal and tangential acceleration then there is some angle which the acceleration vector makes with the centripetal acceleration vector this is the tangential acceleration and somewhat like this this is a whole big circle of, of, of which we have drawn a part so we have to find the angle between uh, the net acceleration and centripetal acceleration so it's saying tan theta is simply tangential acceleration at divided by the centripetal acceleration so the tangential acceleration of particle <coughs> is simply dv by dt so uh, this expression we know dv by dt is the tangential acceleration of the particle uh, this comes from the value alpha r it's a alpha into r is the tangential acceleration which we just calculated alpha is d omega by dt and uh, when we combined omega with r we would get this value omega r d omega by dt so this is this expression only so the tangential acceleration of the particle is dv by dt dv by dt from this expression is 4 and centripetal acceleration is omega square r or v square by r radius of the circle so we we'll get 4 times the radius of the circle which is 10 centimeter so we'll take the value 10 and v square so the value of velocity at t equal to 2 seconds is 8 so that would be 64 so this would come out to be 10 upon 16 that would be some value 5 by 8 so this would be the angle tan theta which we are searching for that is the angle between centripetal acceleration and net acceleration at the time t equal to 2 seconds a particle with a goes with the speed of 1 meter per second so um, for this particular lecture we will be uh, continuing up till this point only so what we learned in this lecture as this particular question question number two goes in the other page so uh, in this particular lecture what we have learned so first we learned that how to find the velocity of the particle uh, by using an expression and we can uh, find the velocity of the particle using components also when it's going in circular motion but expression is also good enough next we learned what are the kinds of acceleration of a particle goes in a circle that are centripetal and normal acceleration so uh, and we learned what are the expressions which are representing them so the expressions in itself uh, are pretty cumbersome but what they represent are the direction 
of the acceleration vector of the particle and by the virtue of direction they become uh, quite big but in actuality they are very small the value of acceleration tangential acceleration of the value is r alpha it is easy to remember the value of centripetal acceleration of the particle is omega square r it's also easy to remember the negative sign in front of centripetal acceleration shows that the particle is accelerating towards the center minus cos theta i cap minus sin theta, sin theta j cap that is directly opposite to the position vector so these are the two components of the acceleration and these components of the acceleration uh, make up the total acceleration of the particle uh, when it's going in a circle so with this summary we will be ending uh, the length of this lecture and we will be continuing the next uh, topic or uh, next lecture with more questions on this particular topic so thank you for joining and have a nice day